So if you want to know how to check if a chunk is loaded, you are in the right tutorial. To show you the problem behind, I put those two areas on the ground. That is the spawn chunks that will always be loaded in the overworld as long as you yourself are in the overworld or if you are playing on the server as long as someone is on the overworld. That's 16 by 16 chunks and that symbolizes the area where you are yourself and wherever you are in the world you will load the chunks around you that are inside your viewing distance or on the server will be 21 times 21 chunks. So in those chunks and in those chunks redstone will work. I ran into the problem when building my Let's Play series that I have an item transportation from my spawn chunks base to a base some 20 or 25 chunks away and the items are transported with a water stream so whenever those chunks are unloaded the items will stack up at the border of the spawn chunks and then flood into the item sorter and that cannot cope with it so I lose items. So I wanted my item sending system in here to notice when the chunks are unloaded and to stop sending items. So let me show you what is behind it. We have a clock in here that is 300 blocks away from my spawn. It's a very simple clock just to have a signal that changes and as you can see the moment the chunk over there is unloaded it stops. Unfortunately it is not guaranteed that it turns off, it just stops in the state where the chunk is unloaded so could be you have a signal, could be you have none but what you will never have is a clock with a changing signal so you have to check if there is a change. So let me explain you how to solve it. As you can see here is our clock and here I can switch it to a steady signal. And as you can see that redstone turns the clock into a steady output which unpowers the torch. While the steady signal turns off the signal which leaves the torch powered which is done because those two repeaters which are on the same tick you can also change the ticks speed but usually it's enough that the line here is longer than that one. So that difference alone will allow that repeater to block that repeater so the signal cannot go through and the moment that repeater is unpowered he will unlock the repeater which allows the signal which is still in here for a short pulse to go through. So whenever the clock is running there will be pulses and if the clock is not running no matter what if there is a signal or not there will be no output. And that is just like to turn it from a pulsing signal into a steady signal. So that is on two ticks, that on three which gives, as you can see, a stronger pulse and that one is evening out even that, so it's a steady output. And that is enough to read out the signal and to work with that in your base or wherever you need the information of the loading status of a chunk. So hope that tutorial helped you with your base building. If so, leave me a like or a comment. See you next time. Bye bye.